Hey guys, it's Major Foley here, and now we're doing the very quick level of Welcoming Committee. So the Norse clans are fighting each other, and the heroes must use the flag to unite them. As I alluded to earlier, Skult was technically telling the truth, so let's see what I meant about that. works I do not believe my eyes Volstag's men dare come here Volstag ate my cattle and hurled my cabin into the river kill them kill them all yep what in? Maybe a little lie told there. So anyway, you don't have to do anything. Your soldiers will easily take care of these guys. These men seem to be drawn to Skull's flag. Maybe if we use it to draw and defeat their clan leaders, we could stop them from. So just build six towers. We could lure the Norsemen out of their camps and ambush them in the open where they are more vulnerable. You don't really need to use control groups here either, so don't worry too much about it. So build about the six town centers that you can. Uh, town centers, uh, towers that you can, and we're just gonna pretty much we're gonna use the Falstag flag bearer to bait out every single one of these armies. Now, the reason why I'm not going to do this now, I could go right now, is that once you've got the five towers built, or at least the five minimum, you'll get the spy on the leaders you need to kill, and it makes it so much easier to know that they're coming out to chase you. Despite the false stag flag bearer's impressive line of sight, you actually can't even see that far in. So, we wait for the towers to be finished. And actually, we're only gonna use five towers, because I wanna get crenellations. Crenellations is a very great upgrade. And pretty much your only goal is to ignore every soldier that you can and just kill the leaders. Kill the leaders and you get a massive army on your side. Sucks that they give you a minimum amount of throwing axemen, but nothing much can be done about that. Anyway, Skull, again, can't fight, put him in a tower. Although I've been told that he can be revived in the previous level, but I consider losing him a failure anyway, so... <laughs> you really shouldn't be losing them, guys. They can't fight, they shouldn't be anywhere near the fights, so... I've never experienced them dropping dead. Or being revivable like Arcantos and that, so... Anyway, with that tower nearly done, we're gonna come outside Green's base first. You can do this in any order you like, by the way, so you can choose this one, this one, or this one. Take your pick. I usually like to start with green first. Alright, so now Spy shall activate. There we go. So, despite them having a name, when you kill them, uh, the soldiers will say a different name. So you have to go to their gate and stay still for a bit. And hopefully it'll attract their attention, so wait. Yep, there you go. And then once they start chasing the flag bearer, just put him in a tower. Put him in the furthest tower you got, I guess, would be the... A great way to do it. He moves fast enough, except for raiding cavalry, so wait for the hero. So the hero, unfortunately, staying back with most of his units. So what we're going to do is we're just going to run around until he gets closer, and then we're going to focus him down. So we're just going to go around. And, just ha and when he gets in range of the towers, have the towers just focus him down too. This is why crenellations is sort of important. So it doesn't matter if you lose soldiers here, because you're going to get a massive army anyway, so don't threat about losing your soldiers. There you go. It's alright. We did lose a tower, but again, doesn't matter. We've already done our five tower minimum. And this, uh, now you can choose to destroy all the armies, or like, one army is usually enough to help destroy everything. But, um, I would probably just get the two armies and then destroy the last one by yourself. 
So again, same plan, false stack flag bearer. Unfortunately, I didn't get the bait here, so we're just gonna wait there. There we go. Now we gotta try to get him out before he dies. Luckily for us, this one's mostly infantry, so... They're not cavalry-based. And the hero is coming out a lot faster this time, which is good for us. So now we just focus him down, like we did the other one. There we go. So yeah, now we got this entire army, and... You know what? Instead of baiting them out with the full stack flag wearer, we're just going to cast bronze and go to town on this. Look at that very shiny army. Too bad we don't get the friendly wolves, but that's just the breaks. So yeah, then just target the um, hero and you win. Nice and simple, right? And he's dead. Yeah, they're probably the shortest level in the campaign, not counting ISIS here, my plea with the cheese strut. Probably is shorter if you just do the flags without waiting for the spy as well. But yeah, that's it. Nice and simple, eh? Alright, so again, the gold edition strut's going to be exactly the same. So, join me for that one. And then Union, where we got to re reunite uh, unite the final Morse clans left, essentially. I'll see you guys then.